Hey guys, how you going? My name's Aaron and I do the visual effects for AEK Productions. So uh, this is my first tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to do the gun slide effect. So uh, let's get right into it. After you've shot your footage, drag it into the new comp button. Now um, this is just my brother pretending to shoot a gun. Alright, so bring it to the point in time where the trigger is pulled. Now um, because uh, the gun's actually blurred in this layer, I'm going to take it back a frame and I'm going to work on this frame. So what we're going to do, we're going to duplicate this layer. Control D is a shortcut or you can go edit, duplicate. So shrink it to one frame. And with the pen tool, trace around the slide of your gun. Now I'm going to do this roughly, just so you guys got an idea of what I'm doing. You can take your time with it. Alright, so we're going to rename this layer slide so we're going to drag we're going to drag this layer back now um, I tend to exaggerate my slide just so because it only plays for one frame it's more noticeable so um, you can take your time uh, rotating it and whatever I'm just going to do this quickly for everyone so um, I might just bring that back a bit more so we're going to add a directional blur to this so it looks like there's a uh, motion to the slide, so I'm going to do right click, I'm going to go effect, I'm going to go blur sharpen, I'm going to do a directional blur. Now I'm just going to bump up the blur a bit, put it to 10, and then I'm going to angle it in the same direction as a gun. Now this is a toggle mask on and off button, so um, if you want to see what's going on, just uh, take that off and just angle it right. Alright, so now um, when the slide is kicked back, um, the barrel is revealed and also what's behind the gun. So at this point in time, we can't see what's behind the gun. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it back in time, and here we go. We can clearly see what's behind the gun. Um, this might... Uh, you might need to plan your shot before you do this, so just keep this uh, part in mind. So I'm going to duplicate this layer and also shrink this down to one frame. I'm going to rename this barrel. So this is going to make the barrel of our gun. I'm going to bring it forward to the point in time so it's in line with the slide. I'm going to bring the opacity down. T is a shortcut or you can click down this arrow down on transform and control the opacity from here. I'm going to put it down to 50% and now with the pen tool I'm going to trace around the barrel. Um, it doesn't hurt to do your research on the gun. Um, because I've done my research, I know that the recoil spring guide is also shown when the barrel is kicked back. So I'm going to make that show on the gun. I'm also going to take out this, uh, this iron sight. Alright, so you put your opacity back up to 100%. Now I'm just going to quickly fix this up. Alright, now the mask itself doesn't look too good at the moment, so we're just going to fix that up. We're going to fix up the color, so we're going to go to Effect, Color Correction, Brightness and Contrast. And we're just going to bump up the brightness to make it pretty much invisible to the background. So uh, that's looking good. So we're just going to do a quick uh, rain preview of that. Uh, in case you can't see. Alright, so that's uh, doing what we wanted to, so it's looking good. Right, I'm just going to quickly add a muzzle flash to this. So I got this muzzle flash off the internet, Just um, I got this one off Dead Nation Films. So I just look around and you'll find one. Uh, I'm going to put the blending mode to add. Gonna, and now I'm going to scale it up. S is a shortcut to scale, or again, you can push down on the arrows and control it from there. And R is a shortcut to rotate. Alright, so that's 
that's looking good. Now um, we're going to simulate the, uh, the light that's made when the muzzle flash goes up. So I'm going to duplicate this bottom layer and shrink it to one frame. Now I'm going to set the blending mode to add. I'm now going to uh, grab the pen tool and just trace around where I think light will be created if the gun did actually go off. I'm just being really rough with this. Um, I usually like making a reflection on the nose and the glasses because um, you would get reflection on there but because the glasses are in a weird angle I'm going to leave the reflection there. So um, I'm just going to rename this uh, light. So um, we're just going to feather these out a bit. So F is the shortcut to feather and just select all these masks, sh uh, hold shift and click the last one to uh, to select all of them and I'm just gonna just uh, feather it a bit yeah that looks alright so when the gun goes off there's a bit of light on the character now to uh, give it a bit more kickback I'm gonna cut some frames from the from the footage. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to duplicate the bottom layer again and I'm going to shrink the uh, the top layer down till it reaches the end of frame the slide frame. Then I'm going to bring the bottom layer uh, to that same point in time but I'm going to take a couple frames away from it. So I'm, I'm going to make it jump to the point where the gun reaches its highest point and if I play back now, I'll uh, scroll through it. You can see that there's a jump when um when the, when it shoots, so it kind of adds to the realism. Now uh, the last thing I'll do to this is um add a wiggle to it, uh, a camera shake when it shoots. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go layer, pre-compose, and I'm just gonna name this gun kickback. I'm going to duplicate this layer and shrink it. Actually, I'm going to bring it to the point in time where the slides kick back. And I'm going to shrink it to about four or five frames from that point. And I'm going to push P, which is the shortcut for position. And I'm going to alt click the stopwatch. Now, I'm going to put a wiggle in there. So I'm going to wiggle open bracket 20 by 20 pixels on the X and Y axis so now that when I play it back you can see that it creates a camera shake um, there's probably one more thing I'd add to this um, and that would be a, a bullet casing so I'm going to turn this layer off and add the bullet casing. I'm going to scale the bullet casing down to what I think looks right. Let's put it, um, that size there. It's all right. And I'm just going to shrink it down. Now I'm going to set the position by pushing P and uh, clicking the stopwatch. And I'm going to drag it forward in time and then drag the bullet casing out of shot. And then I'm going to go back a couple frames and um, just raise the bullet casing so it kind of jumps up when he shoots. So I'll play that back. Uh, that's probably a bit quick. I'll play it again. I thought it's alright. Um, we'll add a motion blur and then we'll enable the motion blur. So we'll play back. I'll quickly scroll through that.
Alright then, that's my tutorial for how to make the gun slide. Um, I hope that's helped anyone who's wanted to learn this. Um, if you have any more questions about this, uh, don't hesitate to email. And um, this is Aaron from AK Productions.